Is it okay to want to change the system from within the system? The debate about whether the system is broken in the UK and it also applies to many other Western countries is over. It ended when, despite it being very clear that the overwhelming majority of people in the UK want Israel to immediately stop bombing Gaza, no ifs, no buts, both of the leaders of the two parties in our two-party system felt comfortable continuing to support Israel. Meaning that despite the people being against genocide, both of our options for government supported, leading to the obvious next question of, well, how do we change the system if our democracy is that broken? And I'm hearing a lot of people saying things along these lines. Now granted, she was talking about comic book movies as a metaphor for society, but you get the point. Superhero media has like consistently gotten less radical since the early 2000s and been inching towards this like centrist, you gotta fix the system from within like passive stance, like from Christopher Nolan's Batman having like an integral like relationship with the cops. Now the implication there is that it's bad to want to change the system from within the system because we clearly need radical change. But we we can only really say that if we talk about exactly what's wrong with the system. And in the UK, as you've heard me say many times before, in almost every single election since World War II, the majority of votes have gone to parties to the left of the Conservatives. We're talking like Labour, the Lib Dems, the SNPs, the Greens. So the majority of the country is progressive, and yet the Tories have been in power for 47 of the last 77 years. So we consistently get governments that are more right-wing than the actual people. Now the reason for that is our voting system. So imagine in your town, let's say 30% of your people vote Green, and 30% vote Labour, and 40% vote for the Tories, the Conservative Party. In that constituency, despite 60% of the people wanting more left-leaning policies, you would have a Tory MP. So in theory, if that happened in every single constituency across the UK, 100% of MPs in Parliament would be Tories, despite the clear majority of people wanting more left-wing policies. And in the last election, the Tories got 44% of the vote, but 56% of the seats in Parliament, so the majority of votes which went to the other parties had no effect on UK policy. And any system where the majority of votes have no effect on policy cannot be called a democracy. So how do you fix that? You need a system where if a party gets 30% of the votes, they get 30% of the seats. That's what we call proportional representation. And here's the good news. The members of the Labour Party, the party that's about to become government after the Tories lose the election this year, they voted overwhelmingly for a proportional voting system. And if we got that, the two-party system would be over because people would be able to vote for whichever party they want and know that their votes would count. So you wouldn't have a situation where the two main parties could do whatever they want and completely ignore the wishes of most people because they know there are only choices. The problem is Keir Starmer, the Labour leader, the guy who's about to be our Prime Minister, doesn't appear to be down with that. And for me, I have a couple of hard lines in politics, things that I can't and don't think anybody should accept. One of those things is a two-party system where most votes don't count because a party with a minority of the vote always gets majority control in government, where even though the majority of the people in the country want a system where all votes count equally, the two leaders of the two-party system refuse to allow that. Because that is not democracy, that is a duopoly holding people captive. And so many people are rightfully asking, what are we willing to do to break free of that system? Work within it to change it, or be more radical? Now, once Keir Starmer becomes Prime Minister, I'm 100% down with all kinds of mutiny within the Labour Party to get him to give us a fair voting system. But as for the country as a whole, I see one goal in my mind, and that is for Keir Starmer not to be able to get through a single interview without somebody asking him, so, Mr. Starmer, why do you believe the majority of British votes shouldn't count? Because I believe we can get the change we need through that kind of pressure. The question is, how do we get there? And for me, that's about making as much noise as possible about how the system is broken, how the majority of the country supports policies that will help people with the cost of living crisis, but our voting system silences us. And once the entire country is on board with the simple fact that equal votes means equal rights, means equal pay and a greener future, then we will have the numbers to radically change the system.